The missile thrush is a striking bird. Its grey-brown upperparts, pale throat, and boldly spotted breast make it instantly recognisable. Missile thrushes are sexually monomorphic, meaning that there is no significant visual difference between males and females. Juveniles, in their first winter, are paler, with creamy feather centres and smaller, diffuse spots, tentative copies of the adults they will soon resemble. The missile thrush is both hunter and gardener. In spring and summer, it forages on the forest floor for earthworms, beetles and other invertebrates. But as winter approaches, its diet transforms. Berries become the sustenance that carries it through the cold months. Among these, the mistletoe berry is its prized treasure. Sticky and glistening, it is carried and dispersed, ensuring that new life will flourish where it lands. The missile thrush is a bird of song. Its melody, loud and far-carrying, rings out even in the fiercest of storms, earning it the old name, Stormcock. When the breeding season arrives, the forest comes alive. Two broods may be raised each year. The female incubates the eggs for nearly two weeks. Then, after a further two weeks, the young fledgling, still dependent on its parents, learns the ways of survival. Even the vigilant are not immune to predators. Raptors like sparrowhawks and owls, as well as cunning corvids, pose a threat to eggs and chicks. On the forest floor, foxes and cats patrol silently. Yet, the missile thrush is bold, fiercely defending its nest and food sources. Throughout history, humans have admired this steadfast songbird. Its winter song inspired poets and writers while its berry-dispersing ways connected it to the ancient lore of mistletoe. In some traditions, the bird is seen as a symbol of resilience, singing boldly even when storms rage around it. Today, the missile thrush remains widespread and abundant, yet some regions have seen declines. Changes in agriculture, loss of habitat, and scarcity of invertebrates challenge their survival. Conserving hedgerows, berry-rich trees, and open pastures ensures that this noble songbird continues to thrive.